Hi YouTube, this is Katie here, and I just wanted to talk about the tornado we had last night. So, at first it was sunny and kind of windy, and we would get like little bursts of cold air, and then it would get really, really hot and then really, really cold. And then, you know, I got off of work at 4.30 and everything was fine. Nobody was worried about anything, and all of a sudden Tyler calls me and says, Hey, there's a tornado coming, you need to take cover. And while I was on video chat with him, not even like 10 minutes later, my power goes out and everyone's freaking out in the apartment and everyone's running downstairs. But I was sitting in my bathtub in the dark because downstairs there was just a whole bunch of windows and I didn't want to go down there. And there was a moped slash bike parked next to Tyler's car. And that thing couldn't even weigh like a thousand pounds. And I was so scared it was just going to fly into Tyler's Prius and crash it. And he was all worried about it. And he got full coverage on it because we were scared it was going to get hailed out. And we didn't get any hail, but it was crazy. I was looking out the window right before it came. And it just literally looked like a huge dust cloud. Like it just immediately got dark outside. And I was like, oh no. So I went back in the bathtub and as I was on video chat with Tyler, my phone kept cutting out and I couldn't hear him and he was all choppy and the cell towers were going down. A whole bunch of stuff got knocked down. There was like power lines down, trees down. There was people wrecking. There was fire sirens going off, police siren going off. We have this tornado siren in Brookings and it sounds so, so creepy. It sounds like a zombie apocalypse alarm and all the fallout shelters were open and all the storm shelters were open. There was no travel advice. There was cops flying by everywhere. There was people that lost houses and garages and trucks and cars and boats and everything. There are just huge, huge, insane trees that were down in the road and as I was on my way to Webster here from Brookings, I just seen semis tipped over all over the road. There was trees everywhere. There was power lines down. There was traffic lights that were barely hanging on. There was all kinds of people with their hazards pulled over because, you know, their windows got shattered or whatever. But I just wanted to say my heart goes out to everyone that, you know, lost everything and especially Castlewood and Brookings and Watertown, they got the worst of it. And it was literally the scariest thing I have ever witnessed in my entire life because I've sat through like tsunamis and stuff like that because that's what I'm used to over on the East Coast. And we're used to getting huge, huge thunderstorms, but this was crazy. The, crowd, the clouds were funneling and there was dust everywhere and you just couldn't see anything outside. It was so scary. I was scared Tyler's Prius was just going to fly away because that thing barely weighs anything. And on my way back down here, I could barely keep it on the road because it was super, super windy. So at about like 6 o'clock this morning, I left to come down here to Tyler and there was just all kinds of damage. I took a whole bunch of pictures and all the other pictures on there are from my friends on Facebook. And I want to give a huge shout out to... T Storm Chasers, they took a lot of great pictures. They all went out in their Jeeps and they were super, super brave chasing down that storm. I was so scared and, but you know, it was definitely a cool experience, but scary at the same time. And I just wanted to let everyone know, you know, these tornadoes aren't anything to mess with. And there was people driving around and we did have one fatality. Um, I'm not sure who the victim was but a huge tree fell on their car and I just want to say my heart goes out to their family and I hope everyone you know somehow can overcome this because it seriously did a lot of damage it was my first tornado I've ever seen and it's definitely something you know we can't ignore we need to talk about we need to raise awareness you know I'm just trying to you know show you guys the aftermath and yeah I thought it was kind of cool and kind of scary at the same time. I'm really sorry to whoever, you know, lost, you know, things. But it was definitely something to see. And I hope you guys liked this video. I took a bunch of pictures, a bunch of videos.
Tyler did a video and I just wanted to give you guys a point of view from my end. There is still no power in Brookings. My work got called off. A whole bunch of schools got canceled. A whole bunch of sports events got canceled. None of the traffic lights were working whenever I left. There was barely anybody driving and all the semis were just barely moving because they were scared, you know, they were going to tip over or something. And I just really hope you guys, you know, like this video and understand these storms are anything to mess with. But anyways, there will be more content and stuff to lighten up your guys' mood in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.